unisexual and bisexual flowers. The flowers which contain only one reproductive organ, either only the pistil or only the stamens, are called unisexual flowers. The flowers which contain both reproductive organs, pistil, as well as stamens are called bisexual flowers. Pollination The transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower is called pollination. Self-pollination and cross-pollination Self-pollination When the pollen grains from the anther of a flower are transferred to the stigma of the same flower or another flower on the same plant. It is called self-pollination. Cross-pollination When the pollen grains from the anther of a flower of one plant are transferred to the stigma of a flower of another plant of the same kind. It is called cross-pollination. Fertilization Pollen tube penetrates the stigma, passes through the style and enters into the ovule. The male gamete moves down to the ovule through the pollen tube. The top of pollen tube bursts open and male gamete comes out of the pollen tube. The male gamete fuses with the female gamete present in ovule to form a fertilized egg cell called zygote. The fusion of male gamete with the female gamete to produce zygote is called fertilization. Dispersal of seeds. The scattering of seeds over a large area away from the mother plant by the agents of dispersal is called dispersal of seeds. Dispersal of seeds and fruits by wind. Certain seeds have developed several adaptive features which help them to be dispersed by the wind. Seeds of drumstick plant and maple plant. Seeds of cotton, caltropis, dandelion, madar and fruits of sunflower have hair around them which allow them to be dispersed easily by the wind. Seeds of grasses, orchids and begonia have very small and light weighted seeds which can easily be blown away by the wind and dispersed. Dispersal of seeds and fruits by water. The coconut fruits have a thick fibrous outer coat which enables them to float in water and be carried away by flowing water to far off places. The seeds of water lily plant and lotus plant have a spongy outer coat which allows them to float in water and move to other places along with the water current. Dispersal of seeds and fruits by animals. Some fruits develop hooks on their surface by which they get attached to the fur of animals and carried away to distant places before they are rubbed off from their bodies and fall to the ground. The fruits of Gokru Xanthium and Urina are dispersed by animals due to their hooked surface. Sometimes animals eat seeds along with the fruits. These seeds remain undigested and pass out with feces at some other distant place. Dispersal of seeds by an explosive mechanism. Dispersal of seeds in plants like balsam castor, pea and geranium take place by explosion of their fruit.